All right, this is the iPad mini sixth generation. And today we're gonna to talk about how after nine months in, I'd buy it again. Let's get to it. Now, over the course of the last 12 years since the original iPad came out, I've had several iPads, including several iPad minis. I had the original iPad mini that launched in 2012, which is now 10 years ago. That's doesn't even sound right. <laughs> and I remember one of the first things I did with that iPad mini was take a photo of it next to my moleskin journal in my cube at work, thinking this is pretty cool. I really like this form factor size for a tablet that just, it's easy to throw in the bag, it's easy to have around the house, it's easy to have on the couch. So today I figured I'd share with you guys some of the specs of this device and actually why they matter. I think that's really important. I'll then get into how I actually use this tablet in my daily life and how it sort of affected my digital lifestyle or my digital life. Uh, at home, especially with a lot of things that have changed in the last few years. And then finally, I'll get into some of my nitpicks for this along with some things to think about if you are considering purchasing this device and some stuff that I would like to see changed or updated on a future iteration. So the most important part, I think, with the iPad mini is the display. In this sixth generation body, we now have an iPad mini that is like full screen, very minimal bezel, it's just enough to get a nice grip on it without having your fingers and thumbs overlay on top of the screen while you're holding it. But it's just a far more immersive experience than past designs that have had these massive bezels or even some of the other devices that are out there that have notches. You'll notice that this device does not have any notches. It doesn't have like the forehead and chin bezel. It just has just enough to be able to grip it and use it easily. The display is an 8.3 inch liquid retina display and what that means is it is going to look really good. It has P3 color gamut support. It has 500 nits of brightness. And while if you're coming from something like an iPad Pro that's come out in the last few years, you'll notice it is a little bit dimmer. It does not have that ProMotion technology. So it still is running at about that 60 hertz refresh rate, but you're not gonna get that up to 120 hertz refresh rate. Still, I find it not too distracting, especially since I've foregone my iPad Pro, and this is the only iPad I use in my lineup now. Now, the iPad mini 6th gen is packing an A15 processor, and while that's not one of the newer M1 or M2 chips, I've never found myself using this device thinking, ah, you know what, I really wish it had uh, faster processing like the M1 that's in my laptop. I do think with having something like the A15 chip helps this device have all day battery life or battery life that I have at least not have been able to kill in a single day. There's also the very welcome addition of USB-C over something like Lightning. This just makes it so much easier to travel with one cable for both the laptop and the iPad. And what's really nice about that too is this iPad charges significantly faster than any previous iPad mini before it. The other really neat trick that you can do with the iPad mini is I'll actually keep a USB-C cable to lightning cable. And if I'm out and about and I need to top off my phone, this actually just acts as like a big battery to charge my phone. So I find myself not needing an external battery or big battery bank to keep my phone topped off either. That's kind of nice. And this may be one of the easiest iPads to configure. Once you choose a color, it's just 64 or 256 gigs of storage and then whether you'd like to have Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi plus cellular. The iPad mini I ended up going with is the Space Gray 256 gigabyte Wi-Fi only model. I don't use this outside of the house that often, and if I do, I can just hotspot off of my phone. I ended up going with the 256 version because I do like downloading a few movies or audiobooks uh, to have on the plane, and I find having over 100 gigabytes of storage seems to be the sweet spot for me and my needs with this tablet. So a question I get often in some form or another from friends and family members is what do you use your iPad for? 
or do I need an iPad if I already have something like a computer and a phone? And so diving into how I use my iPad, especially over the last few years, I now work from home. This is my office down here in our basement. And I try to leave my laptop and my phone down here in sort of this workspace. This is the environment where I do my work. I get work done, whether it's editing or writing code or whatever it is that I'm doing for the day. I try to keep my work tech devices down here. My iPad mini has become sort of my home tech device. I leave this upstairs, usually in the living room next to the couch. And especially today, more than ever, where we have digital lives at home, but also digital work lives that also need to, for a lot of us, be done at home. It's nice to have a device that is sort of that separation and barrier, a completely different form factor to experience your digital life on without having to be in sort of a work mode. So I find this iPad is with me a lot upstairs in sort of my day-to-day -day life. It's really nice to just have a device that has no social media on it because most social media is garbage on the iPad for some reason, but thank you. I'm looking at you, Instagram. It's just, it's not good. It really isn't good. If you guys haven't seen the video that I made about Glass, which is a sort of like app for photographers to share photos and not have to worry about algorithms and other stuff, I'll leave that down below. They have a fantastic glass app and you guys can see more about that uh, in the video that I just mentioned. But also here at our house, we have a lot of hue lights and other types of like smart lights and along with the Sonos speaker, I need to have a device in order to control all those things fairly easily, but I don't want that to be my phone, especially when I'm trying to relax and unwind in the evenings or on the weekends. It's nice to just have this knowing there's no work email here. There's none of my analytics tools. I'm not, it's not my laptop, so I'm not going to be editing video on this. This iPad has become sort of like the hub of my like digital personal life. Yeah, I have my phone and my laptop for all my work stuff, but this is the device that allows me to enjoy my home digital life. I think the best. Now, there are a few drawbacks with this iPad mini, or at least a few things that I think you should consider or things that were kind of like a, what? Uh, just stuff that I wasn't a big fan of. The first of being the color options for the iPad mini 6th gen. There is a pink, purple, and space gray option along with a starlight option, which is kind of like a gold-ish tinged aluminum. I really wish there was an iPad color that was just the like normal gray or instead of space gray, I would like like a more deep black or a closer to black black. Space gray is fine, but I feel like it's a little dated. It feels like a little bit of like the last decade kind of look to it. And I would rather have that like straight aluminum look, that brushed aluminum look or um, go with something that is actually black or at least a lot closer to black. But who knows, maybe you want to rock a purple iPad. You know, more power to you. I do have some mixed feelings about the sleep wake touch ID top button combination that's going on up top. I do find that at least in the first few weeks that I was using this tablet, having used something like face ID on my phone now for a couple of years, it took a little bit of getting used to like looking at this going like, why? Why isn't this unlocking? And then having to like learn this sort of new muscle memory of like, okay, when I unlock this, I tap it down once and then hold my finger on the button after it's sort of released. That does the touch ID thing and it's unlocked. It's not a big deal, but it is something that if you are getting the iPad mini sixth generation, you should be aware of and at least set the expectation that it may take a few a few days to get used to. And this really isn't a detractor for the iPad mini, but something to think about is I've never bought a case for this and I haven't bought the Apple Pencil for it. I do have an Apple Pencil for my iPad Pro and a case and all that stuff, but I find this tablet just works really well as a tablet, standalone. I've thrown this in my bag, it's gone to Mexico with me, it's gone all across the country with me. It, it works. It, it's a great device that, um, at least in a padded tablet compartment and running around, I haven't had any issues with and I can't seem to find a need why I would want the Apple Pencil with this particular tablet. I think if you are looking for a tablet specifically to write on, the iPad Pro is probably a better option, but uh, it's nice that at least you can get the Apple Pencil and do some of those note taking things with this device. So all in all, the iPad mini sixth generation for me is the culmination of everything that's great about the iPads, both the iPad Pro line and the Air line sort of finally inherited and delivered on the iPad mini line. I love the full body display or like the 
the edge to edge ratio bezels, whatever you want to call them. The display is good enough, but definitely could still be better. Still though, I think that's not necessarily worth holding off for, especially seeing how the past mini refresh cycles have gone where it's been several years in between refresh cycles. So even at nine months, I think this is a great buy. I would definitely buy it again had I not Insta bought it as soon as this was announced because I had been telling myself when they eventually do an iPad mini like this that has the full screen, it's gonna be mine. And <laughs> It's, it's gonna be awesome. Leave a comment down below if you got this far in the video telling me what iPad mini you would like to get. Color, are you gonna get a pink iPad mini? Stardust maybe, I don't know. Color and also uh, Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi cellular, what storage you'd like and why. Um, I'm also curious to know what types of tasks and things do you want your iPad to be able to do? Um, do you think you'll use this more as sort of like a note-taking device? Do you think it's gonna be more of that sort of like home digital hub that you're browsing the web on and maybe reading emails and doing some like home automation stuff or home control, whether it's like lighting, Sonos stuff? Leave a comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And if you have yet to subscribe to this channel, I would be honored if you would. Please be kind both in life and in the comments below and like this video to send good healing vibes across the internet. I still need healing vibes if this is your first time watching this channel. Uh, I had a freak accident. My left leg is like kind of, it's still healing. Uh, I can stand, I can walk around the house a little bit, but um, it's going to be some time. But um, thank you to everyone who's already said so many kind words and everything. I really do appreciate it. And with that, we'll do it again soon. Later.